Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tia Zamara here, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking this super basic $10 lamp from Walmart and making it into this boho chic lamp. If you want to see how, keep watching. So the first thing that I'm gonna start off by doing is just simply cleaning off this old dusty lamp. Next, we're just gonna move things outside so that we can spray paint this lamp gold. Of course, you can choose to spray paint your lamp whatever color you please. Now, if you aren't working with a lamp that you previously had, then of course you can buy a lamp that's already the color gold, and you can buy this same lamp from Walmart that is already in the shade gold for about $20. If you are going to spray paint, do not be like me. Make sure that you put down some kind of barrier, whether it's plastic or cardboard, so that you don't leave a gold circular ring on your balcony. <laughs> Now to create this piece, I'm just gonna be using this lampshade that I've had for quite some time now, along with a lot of yarn, of course. I'm just going to be hot gluing the yarn along the top portion of the lampshade. And eventually I did realize that this probably wasn't the best way to do this. And I did end up using, you know, a different method. Um, however, I did want you guys to see the whole process as this is something that literally just came to my mind and I did. I didn't see this on YouTube anywhere. I didn't see anybody make this. Um, so it was kind of a bit of a struggle and still is with me accepting it because it's just something I've never seen before. Um, so yeah, just hang tight to see the actual uh, method that I think that you guys should use if you plan on, you know, making this yourself. So here's what I mean when I say that I saw that things just weren't, you know, going to turn out right. There's a lot of gaps and because the lampshade is this ivory white color, it's just, you know, very easy to see through it. And so I did continue with that method because I didn't really know what to do at the time. I'm like, let me just finish and see if it looks right and it didn't. So I ended up doing what you see here, wrapping the lampshade in yarn first and then going over it with that same process as before, hot gluing around the top perimeter of the lampshade. And so it ended up working out. And because you only can really see the lampshade, you know, from one angle anyways, that was really the only part that mattered. But I do wish I would have thought of that from the beginning. Anyways, <laughs> this is me cutting the ends of the yarn just to give it that even finished kind of cut. And honestly, guys, I intended on the yarn reaching all the way to the end of the base. I don't know why I started cutting it this short. This is not what I intended to do at all, like at all. And it actually, after I did it, made me feel like, why did I just do that? Now the lamp is messed up. But I guess it doesn't really matter because the lamp is off to the side, kind of like behind the couch. And you're not really gonna see the base of the lamp unless you walk all the way over to that side, which you really don't have a reason to, and actually look down at the base of the lamp. So I guess it all worked out. I don't know how to feel about this, you guys. I don't know if I'm feeling it. I don't know if I'm not. I've had it sitting up in the house for a few days now. And I still just don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I may end up adding more to this, may end up just trashing it. It only cost me $5 anyways, but yeah, what do y'all think? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We're on the road to 100K. Help me get there, you guys. 
See you in the next video. Bye.